Hi guys, welcome to Tally School and in this video we are going to see cost centers in Tally but in expenses vouchers or payment vouchers in Tally for expenses. So this is the third part of cost centers in Tally. In the previous parts, in the first part we have seen enabling cost centers and categories in Tally and creating as well. In the second part we have seen actually using cost centers and cost categories in purchase and sales vouchers in tally in this video or the third part we are going to use cost centers in for expenses in payment vouchers in tally so let's see what it is so whenever you are incurring certain expenses you can divide that expenses as per the cost centers so continuing with our example if you don't know what the example is you can come to this post and read the entire example and i will recommend that go and watch the first two parts because the example is continued and you will understand cost centers in way better than understanding like this only watching just this video so as per our example let's look at the example here uh, what we have to do is we have to incur payroll expenses which are 25000 for surat and 30000 for mumbai and manufacturing expenses 50 for Surat and 60,000 for Mumbai. So we are going to use this example of payroll expenses and manufacturing expenses and create a payment entry or payment voucher in Tally with cost centers. So let's go in Tally and let me show you how you can do it. So we are in the gateway of Tally. What you have to do is go to accounting vouchers. Then if you're not in the payment voucher, go to payment voucher by pressing F5. So I am already in the payment voucher. First, first thing that you have to do is you can select cost center or class here. So if I click here or press backspace, I can get the name of the cost centers that I have or I can use. So first I will do the entry for Surat. So select Surat from here and press enter. So now we have selected the cost center Surat. Now we can easily do the payment entry for payroll and manufacturing expenses in Surat. So I've already done the entries. So I will just show you both the entries and how you can do it and what is the exact difference between the two entries. So let me go back. Let me go into display, then account books and ledgers. So I've used Tally shortcuts for this and you can also use Tally shortcuts 380 plus Tally shortcuts in Tally, I have created an entire list with PDF and Excel file formats. So I'll link that down below in the description as well and you can download them all for free. So I will go into payroll expenses ledger to see the in entries that I have done. Payroll expenses. And you can see I have done two entries. So let me go into first entry and see. So this is for Surat. So we have selected Surat here. Now, if I go ahead and press enter, first we will select payroll expenses, which were 25,000. So payroll expenses, 25,000. Here, write 25,000 and press enter. So when you are creating entry for the first time, you will not see Gujarat and Surat here because it is automatically taken up by tally. When you actually create the entry, pass the entry and come back to see the entry one more time then you will see this small details otherwise you will see only when you print it so if you print payroll sorry if you print the payment entry with cost centers using cost centers then you will see all the details on the printed paper so second we will select manufacturing expenses for debit manufacturing expenses have created in the direct expenses similarly for payroll i have also created for direct expenses under direct expenses 50,000 and I paid them by cash you can also select bank but I have selected cash for the simplicity so this is how the entry with cost center is done payment entry similarly we have done only for cost center Surat now we will do the entry for cost center Mumbai so we will go in that entry as well and you can see on the top I have selected the cost center Mumbai which is exactly what you have to do you have to select the cost center Mumbai and then pass the simple entry payment entry as if you are passing 
an entry just like that without using cost centers but this is with cost center but entry is almost the same just you have to select or take care of cost center so press enter select payroll expenses select the amount again manufacturing expenses debit and select the amount credit cash or bank whatever as per your needs and as per the transaction press enter party details if you are paying to someone then you can enter the party details as well and you can use gst as well here so it will be very easy for you to include gst also in this kind of transaction press enter and save the entry so we have done two entries in this video i've explained you and how you can use the payment vouchers with cost centers in tally in the similar way you can also use receipt vouchers for cost centers in tally you have to just create a receipt voucher by selecting cost center at the beginning of the entry so that is how you create payment vouchers in tally with cost centers now let me show you how it is reflected in the cost center report so if i go to display then statement of accounts then cost centers cost center summary and if i go to surat and direct expenses if i go you can see manufacturing expenses and payroll expenses both are there so manufacturing are 1 lakh 10000 and payroll are 25 if i go into manufacturing and again i go in there i can see two manufacturing entries which is 50000 and 60000 in total so this is how it is done one is this and second is this so this is i have used pre allocated or predefined cost allocations which i'll be explaining in the next video which will be uploaded tomorrow so i will be explaining that but for this video i have done this entry of 50000 in predefined cost allocations what will happen is you don't have to select the amount it will be divided as per the percentage set by you in different cost centers so that's why i have done that so suppose you have two places one is surat one is kutch kutch we will take in the next example in the next video so let's say 60 percent expenses are incurring or are related to surat and 40 percent are from kutch whatever the business is done so what you can do is you can set the 60 40 ratio in tally and then you have to just enter the total amount of the expenses say let's say i have incurred the expenses of 1 lakh rupees for my business for which 60% are related to Surat, 40% is related to Kutch. So when I create a simple payment entry, 1 lakh rupees, Tally will automatically divide 60,000 to Surat, 40,000 to Kutch. That is called predefined cost allocations in Tally, which we will discuss in the next video. So for this video, this is only what I wanted to show. And this is how you can use cost centers in Tally in payment voucher. If you like this video, subscribe to Tally School and we are growing day by day and faster than ever. So subscribe to Tally School for your daily dose of Tally with updated videos. So if you are looking for a career in accounting, Tally is a must to know software because it is used majorly by small and medium sized companies. So it will be helpful to you as well. So subscribe to Tally School and like this video, share this video. If you have any problems, comment down below. Any video suggestions, also comment down below. I will look into it and I will create a video for that also. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to Tally School.